Hi, this is Yash. This video is for people who are uh, beginning semen retention, and I want to give some tips. You know, some. It's not an easy thing to do, so it's for people who are just beginning, or for, or for people who uh, have been trying for a while in relapsing. This takes a little bit of time. Okay, this isn't like we're just putting down um, uh, cigarettes or coffee or candy. Okay, we're talking about the second strongest sex uh, instinct that we have as a human being. First, uh, the strongest is self-preservation, but the next is the sexual instinct. It, it, it's a, soft, a necessary software that runs uh, the, this whole planet. You know, if God didn't put that in us, then we just, the planet wouldn't have anybody on it. So it has to be very strong and it can uh, have its positive and negatives about being uh, strong. So the benefits, let's talk about the benefits first. Why would somebody want to even preserve their semen? To be honest with you, I want you to tell me why, you see? There's a lot of videos, I, I've done this also in the past uh, videos where I'll share the benefits, you know, and that's fine also. But they're just words. <clears throat> Unless you have the actual experience yourself, you know, it just sounds good. You might be inspired for a little bit, but you have to actually do it so that then you can tell me what the benefits are. And that leads me, it reminds me, if, you know, people who watch this video, if you've already experienced the benefits of this, list them in the comments. Tell me what the benefits are. I, I would like to hear what they are and also other people who watch the channel who it's just convenient you know they can, you can just scroll down and, and see all the benefits that you're getting from uh, this practice obviously it gives energy the energy that I feel when I'm not losing my semen it's obviously like hands down 100% for everybody it's not like well then maybe you'll get energy but you you may no everybody's gonna get more energy obviously because you're not losing your your most precious energy right so you're gonna have more energy uh, everything improves like everything balance uh, inside your willpower your sharpness of mind your clarity your ability to retain and remember things your charisma your eyes look better they open up they're more clear you can flow better when you're in a conversation you don't have insecurity and fears like we would when we're losing the energy uh, our mind we have more disk space because it's not being so uh, cluttered with the constantly you know obsessive compulsive thoughts about uh, sex or lust or whatever okay I mean we can, I can go on and on I can make an hour video just on that and never take a, a breath just keep going you know but I want you to tell me what they are obviously you must sense that there's some benefits otherwise you wouldn't be interested in this subject and you wouldn't be watching this video or other videos I have to tell you you know these 12-step programs that they have for they have it for you know like sex addicts and um, there's a good one, it's called SPA, S-P-A-A. -A. S is in Sam, P is in Paul, A-A. -A. You can Google it. You see, there's, there's a benefit of having a fellowship, a fellowship of people who are all together inspiring, inspiring each other to do the same positive thing and then sharing their experience. This is also what the videos are doing. But when you're in a room together, whether it be a, the actual in-person meeting or on Zoom, it's a little more power, you see. I'd like to do that too at some point if I get enough uh, people on the channel and we can, we can have a Zoom uh, room and, uh, and uh, you know, talk about this stuff and, and share our experience and the benefits and the struggles. You see, it's, it is difficult. That's why I'm recommending, especially if you're in your early 20s or even 30s, I mean, or 40s or 50s or 60s, it doesn't really matter. But, but when you're in your early 20s or 30s, this stuff can be, <clears throat> it's like that instinct, that's this, this biological tendency to procreate, it's just so strong, you know? It was for me too. Um, so when you're in a fellowship of other people, you draw strength from this collective power and energy from everybody being on the same page, trying to do the same thing. 
you get spiritual power. And so this is why I'm suggesting that for those who have trouble, if you keep relapsing, you know, and, and, and you want some more support, check out one of these meetings. The other thing is don't beat yourself up if you keep relapsing. It's okay. You see, you, you keep going. You keep going. That's it. It's it. You keep going. It's, uh, it, it can take some time. It's an evolutionary thing. And don't judge yourself and look at these videos, you know, 500 days of semen retention. Don't. This is your deal. Okay? You don't need to compare with anyone else. And besides, we don't know what they're doing or not doing. All we're doing is reading the title. You see, and there's different different levels to this. Like, um, am I just, you know, like the basic the basic uh, for someone beginning this it is like don't don't masturbate, don't watch porn. This is this is the basic thing. Next level is <clears throat> like lusting, sexual fantasies. Uh, trying to get hits of uh, validation from girls in public, etc. That's next level, though. You know, but at first, just don't masturbate and, and watch porn. It's, it's, very, it's very concrete, you know, it's very specific, objective. Now, if you end up touching, touching it and, and it, or in the morning or, you know, you don't need to, you don't need to be scared of it. Like that's, that, that doesn't, uh, solve the problem but everybody knows the difference between if we're masturbating and we're not the other thing don't edge you see I used to do that I quit uh, masturbating and ejaculating like in my 20s but the edging and I would justify by using these Taoist practices to say you know okay I'm doing it for spiritual reasons and I'm um, I'm bringing the energy up and I'm circulating it and all this stuff but really I was just getting dopamine hits so if somebody asked me, well, what's better, edging or like masturbating uh, and ejaculation? Okay, if I have to answer, I would say, yeah, edging's better. But that is going to also, you're going to hit a bottom with that at some point too. Because this constant um, dopamine hits that your nervous system's taking, it's going to wear you out after a while. And the problem is it... It, uh, it potentiates and, and, and propels this, this lust tendency, you see, because I'm constantly act activating that area. So I'm going to be more, sex is going to be in my mind. So then when I go out in public, I'm going to start objectifying women and I'm fantasizing, trying to get them to like me or whatever. So it has its dangers. Um, to thy own self be true. You have to intuit. And, and see, is this causing a problem for you or not? Ideally, best is don't edge, don't masturbate, okay? And, and don't watch porn, obviously. This is what you should do. And then you tell me what happens, okay? I want you to tell me the benefits of, um, of not uh, constantly stimulating yourself and getting dopamine hits. You tell me how your mind gets more clear, your body feels more balanced, you're more strong, you're more calm, you have more self-confidence. I want to hear your words, though, okay? The other thing I like to do, I, I like to spend time in nature. Nature gives me support. I have all the elements in nature. I love the beach, you know? Not a busy beach with a, bu a bunch of people running around flirting with each other and, you know, look at me and all that. A beach or a river somewhere where there's no people or very few and then just sit there and just be conscious you know just be conscious of absorbing that energetic atmosphere of being in that in that natural surrounding that gives support you can bring a book and read it out there or watch a video out there you and you'll see you see the environment's really important that we um, that we're living in and spending time in this is the thing the real like Beginner tips, okay, for semen retention, it's full spectrum. It's not that we just stop, okay, I'm just going to stop masturbating, but um, the rest of my life is going to stay the same. It doesn't work like that. You'll have a hard time. You probably re will relapse. You know, I have to, and this happens automatically. This is the good thing about it. When we start retaining our semen long enough, we get clear. And then we start to, this clarity bleeds through into every other aspect of our life. We start looking at our diet, the people we're hanging out with, the 
uh, job situation that we're in, um, you know, what we're eating, our diet, uh, all these things, we can't not look at it because we're on a higher level. We're, we're in the, uh, a higher altitude of ourselves, and so we take that, that whole package, you see? We can't just feel, we can't just look at one area, say, okay, I'm not masturbating good, but, and then, um, but I'm, uh, I'm going to bars and getting drunk and I'm talking shit with people that just low level stuff. You, you, it's, everything has to match. And then that helps semen retention. So we got to look at all that. And th this is why I make videos. I'm trying to touch on the most important aspects of, of one's human life so that there's continuity on all levels and then that just it makes everything easy and then semen retention it just becomes it's not even a you don't even feel you're doing semen retention it's, it's just natural it's normal that old program and habitual negative way of thinking and being caught in this addiction is, is dissolved you're not your character's changed you see so this is the point to be at and that will happen faster if all your, uh, the areas in, in your life are, are balanced and healthy. So your vibration raises on all these levels. And so all this higher vibration uh, equates into your, your, your whole life's just higher, higher vibrational, higher frequency. And then what? Then you attract higher frequency relationships. I'm going to make a video on how to find high vibrational men and women, right? This is going to be a good one. And then you attract, you attract uh, your work, your, um, the, right, the right job, the right situation, everything. You, the law of magnetism is now operational in your life on a very palpable level. It's very clear. Like, oh, I'm, I'm in flow now. I'm in tune with the synchronistic harmony of uh, the universe because the universe takes care of everything it's taking care of everybody it's just most don't realize it or they're doing stupid things that seem to block it but even then you can't block it <laughs> at some point the universe will bring you back around and you're going to be in some pain and then you're going to want to wake up and then you're going to find uh, people or videos that will help you and inspire you to uh, be the best version of yourself this is what this video is about and there's a lot of other videos out there that are doing the same thing so watch those videos or read those books or be in these 12-step meetings so that your life is um, surrounded with uh, this higher vibrational uh, way of life and being that you want to experience it's just very logical right so I think that was a good uh, that was a good summary of the beginning tips. Uh, leave me any comments telling me what the benefits are, okay? It inspires me also. So have a good day. I'm going to talk to you soon. Thanks.